Hell yeah, keep that applause going for Diego Rangel and Diego Morales! Diego, go, go. Y chingas a tu madre Lástima que te hablo con orgullo porque te quería Pa' comer te busca quien te ponga Thank you, DJ. Gracias, güey. Gracias. So I'm the bigger Diego out of the two of us, but not a lot of people know this. Diego Morales used to weigh a couple more pounds. Yeah, but, you know, he put in a lot of hard work, a lot of effort into his physique, and he looks great. He looks good, right? But I feel kind of bad because I don't think he realizes no matter how much he weight lifts, he'll never get his hairline back. <laughs> Man, I'm getting a text message right now. Uh, it's from his belt loop. It says, help. <laughs> so Diego's father passed away several years ago. But I think he's done a great job at honoring his legacy and memory through jokes and comedy. I think he's done a great job. And, uh, you know, he even got a tattoo to remember his father by. I think that's beautiful. So beautiful, in fact, that I got a tattoo of what his dad looks like now. I'm going to go cry after this. But... <laughs> nah, it's crazy, man. I don't know. When y'all were laughing so hard at that, his shirt said... <sighs> <laughs> I like Diego. Not a lot of people do. But <laughs> I like him. You know? <laughs> He's a controversial guy in the scene. He, he, uh, he causes a lot of drama, you know, but... I don't know where he's burned more bridges, in comedy or with his baby mamas. <laughs> Man, y'all give it up for Diego. He is the most successful virgin comedian that I know. Thank you guys, it means a lot. Besides Dante, I'm the most successful virgin comedian. Thank you guys. Diego runs a semi-successful comedy show called Someone's Daughter. And I think it's really cool, you know, but I don't know. It, it features all females. I don't know if he's doing it to promote all the great female talent that we have in this community or if he's just trying to prove to the judge of Dallas County that he is safe around his own daughters. <laughs> oh, my God. That was good. That was good, man. But you know what? My daughters will never be half the woman he is. I'm sorry if, I'm a if I appear a little unprepared. Last joke, last joke, sorry. Oh, thank you so much for ruining it. <laughs> I'm sorry if I seem a little unprepared. A lot of my jokes are still under construction. But Diego's family knows all about that. <laughs> That's how you know he's a coconut. That boy don't know no Spanish, man. <laughs> the only action Diego Rangel gets is when his mom walks in on him jacking off. Get over these two, everyone, one more time. Let me go first. All right, so we're going to switch the order this time. Fuck, I wish. This is fucking, this is hard because, like, like, Diego Morales, I know you are like you're one of my favorite wrestlers in the scene, and I, I like most of your really good like you instead of doing rebuttals, like most of your good roast were the rebuttals, and you just hand off the mic, and that's impressive. Rangel, I mean, you fucking wrote jokes, like you wrote some good ass. I don't, I, I don't know. I was very excited for those I don't know. Rangel filled in for Chris Hopkins. It was going to be Chris Hopkins versus Diego. And I was like, with Chris and Diego, I was like, man, it's going to go down. And when Rangel joined us, I was like, it's going to go down syndrome. 
And then Diego walked in and told me, man, I ain't even written jokes. He's chewing gum. Is he? Diego, bro, if, if he's a coconut, you're a cocaine nut, you know? You're, your, jaw, your jaw looks like it could finish the Oregon Trail. I mean, good. You have more cane than Paul over here. He is a cane. Okay, so, <laughs> fuck, dude. It, it's hard because it's, it's about writing versus rebuttals. It's like, what do I like more, the prep or off top? I, I am, fuck. Morales, you're going to hate, like, right, you were prepared, though. Like, Diego, ran, like, he wrote, like, honestly, bro, I thought this was going to be a runaway. I did not think, Diego, good fucking God. I, <laughs> I yeah, SpongeBob oval pants over here. I did not think... <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, Mor dude. Diego Morales is one of the best roasters in the scene. I believe that. I just think Rangel, with the last second ready, and, and you covered more than like fat. You covered a lot of topics. I am giving it to Rangel right now. I think it that was close as fuck. And the rebuttals, I think, are that shows how strong of a roaster he is. I just like writing, so that's where I'm going. All right, hell yeah! Give it up for two Diego's, one cup, everyone. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> One Diego's never had sex, the other one only pays for it. So, um... <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. That was really fucking close. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go off of uh, what Joey said because it took him eight minutes to get his fucking thoughts together. So, um... Yeah, I, I have... All to... eight minutes to get on stage, <laughs> so... Yeah, I have to. You know what, man? Uh, I loved your quick rebuttals, uh, Morales. The belt loop, bro. That that, that had me Harlem shaking back here, bro. I was fucking shaking, man. Uh, I loved the half a woman because uh, Diego Rangel does have some titties. So, um, <laughs> wearing a training bra. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'm good. I had to give it a tie. Diego Rangel. You wrote some great jokes. First off, give a round. He worked a shift here tonight. He wrote jokes, worked a shift. And he still gained 10 pounds. So, like, that's fucking incredible. But uh, I, I have to give it a tie. So I'm going to give it up to Andy Franco for the tiebreaker. Oh, really? Yeah. You going to put this shit on me? Yeah. Great. Great. Because, uh, first off, is anyone knows this looks like a before and after picture right here? Just <laughs> 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 before, yeah. I mean before and after prison. Don't yeah, guys, no. don't get, don't get too. Uh, <laughs> Rangel's HIV yeah. Morales yeah, yeah. is uh, <laughs> fucking full blown. <laughs> but both uh, are ICE. God damn, dude. It's it, I'm not gonna. They're, they're right. It's really hard because uh, Rangel, uh, really great joke writing. I will admit some of the sh the, the, the punchlines took forever to get to. You know, uh, I've seen you eat faster than that, so that was. Wait, wait, wait! Are you telling? Like, are you <laughs> telling Rango, Are you telling him to trim the fat? Because I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. He looks like he's about to cry. Uh, it's weird. I don't want to make him sad. I don't want to make him mad. You know, he's. <laughs> he looks like he wants to eat my ass. He wants to beat my ass. I don't know which one's worse. Uh, but <laughs> nah, nah, nigga, nah, hell no. Nah. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna be honest, man. I was gonna give it to uh, uh, Rangel until the the comeback with the uh, half the woman joke. That uh, was just well executed. Uh, so God, I'm gonna go with. It's so hard. But I'm gonna go with Morales. I'm gonna go with Diego Morales. I'm gonna get to my boy. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Give it one more time for both of the Diegos, everybody. Yes. Good job. Good job. Great job. Hey guys, that's still a tie. We need a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. All right. I'll be the tiebreaker. <laughs> Who's talking? Uh, the GM. No. <laughs> do not do roast you want that. Them to do go not back roast up. that man. If you ever want to work here again, <laughs> do you want them to go back up? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Go well, back up I on didn't, the stage. I didn't come here to see no ties. All right. Keep oh, you, Dallas. How was it a, how was it a tie? Back. There's three judges. Because he went. It's not judge. a tie. There's three judges. No. Well, we both. Do you guys know how fucking numbers work? <laughs> he never picked shit. You didn't pick? You guys he went picked Rangel. Rangel. You guys both went Go back Rangel. up. Fuck it. You went for Go the tie, up. meaning you went for... All right, good. Yeah. Yeah, get the fuck right, back whatever. up there. Get the fuck... I guess. I thought... Diego, I thought Morales won right there. I thought if you yeah. set the... All right, I don't... All right. Joey, all right. Joey you picked Rangel. I and picked then Rangel. Paul Kate made it a tie. And then and, oh. then, and then he made it. He get, that's I still thought, a tie. I thought him saying Morales was making it a tie oh, to help okay. Andy decide. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, I thought that, all right. Go back up. One last joke, everyone. One last joke. All right. One more round of applause. 
This is it. Fuck. This um, is a, a yeah. lot like a Republican election right now. There's a recount, baby. I was going to say, in the Diego, isn't that what Trump called the Alamo? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, grab the mic. One Diego. last joke. Rangel, it's on you. God damn it. I accepted it, guys. I accepted it. <laughs> Seeing Diego in the red hat really confuses me because <laughs> we're t- talking about all this Republican shit, but yeah, there you go. That's the joke. <laughs> That's... No, uh, I am half Hispanic and I'm half white, but seeing Diego in the hat just reminds me how much I really do hate Mexicans. <laughs> Tiebreaker, baby. Good job. Arriba mi raza. <laughs> Diego Rangel was downloading how to be a transgender woman, but his Wi-Fi got cut off. Diego Rangel, it's so appropriate after that crash and burn that your belt looks like a seat belt. <laughs> that's, that's, Jesus. Yeah, I think uh, that, uh, that was. Good. I think I had to go with Morales. Yeah. Morales, everybody. Diego Morales. Make anticlimactic great again. <laughs> Good job. You almost had it, you fat fuck. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs>